guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time stopping by my name is Heather and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of our games that we are playing for game night right now I do have a medium sized game collection so if you're interested in seeing that at all just let me know in the comments below before we get started if you've not yet subscribed please take a second to do that before you leave today that way you don't miss out on any of my content I have a lot of fun things planned and I don't want you to miss anything I'm going to start off with the two Disney games that we have been playing the most. And the very first one was a amazing gift for my friend Nina over at Wrestling with Disney, and that is Pictopia. It is absolutely a fun game. We have so much fun playing this for hours on end, and it's really adaptable for any age. So if you have some toddlers that can't quite speak yet, or if you have any of your family members who have some cognitive delays, this is still adaptable so everyone can play. It is ages seven and up, two to six players, and it takes 25 to 45 minutes. And it says, make family game time magical. Discover playful trivia spanning decades of Disney magic. From animated classics and blockbuster movies to television hits and dazzling theme park destinations. So we wish we were there right now. It's a game of teamwork with a competitive twist. Along the way, our guests might answer questions that reveal how much you know about the other players. And again, there are different ways you can make this adaptable for your family, and I highly, highly recommend it. The next Disney game I'm gonna be sharing with you is this Wonderful World of Disney, sorry for the light, the Wonderful World of Disney trivia game. This game is so much fun and I just love the packaging. I actually found this at the flea market for $6 years ago and it had the wrapping still around it so no one had ever played it, no one had ever touched it, and I'm just so excited that I was able to find it. I don't know um, if this is in circulation anymore, but if I can find all of these games I'm going to be sharing with you, whether on eBay or Amazon, I will link them all below so you can order them. But the basic play of this game is just like Trivia Pursuit. If you've ever played that at all, it's basically in the same style of play. The next three games I'm going to share with you are all TV show related. The very first one I found at the Dollar Tree, and I would love to find the full form of this. It is a friend trivia game. So I know that you guys can't get out right now to the stores, but if you would like the full version of this, I will definitely try to find this online, even for myself, because Again, I love trivia and I love friends and I really would like to have the full version of this. The one thing I like about these, uh, we have several different boxes of these, is they're very, very small and if you can get your hands on them, they just have a small stack of questions and these are really great to keep in the car for car rides or anything like that. If you're stuck in traffic with your family, you can pull out a game and just play and pass the time away. Cuts down a little bit of frustration and road rage, so um, I definitely highly recommend this. This is a lot of fun. So we've definitely went through these enough that we need the full version now. The next game is a Golden Girls game. Are you surprised at all? This is called Any Way You Slice It, and of course it does have cheesecake. Here is the back of it, and everyone gets their little plate. I get the plate, yes. Everyone gets their own decorative plate, and then you get to put pieces of cheesecake on it. Pretty much in the Trivia Pursuit style, you put each piece of the cheesecake on to win. And all of these questions are so much fun. If you love the Golden Girls, I definitely if you love the Golden Girls, I highly recommend this one. This next game you can play for hours. If you've ever played Monopoly, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And my wonderful friend Beth from the Collectioners Club gifted this to me for my birthday, and it is absolutely amazing. I love that the entire board is nothing but Golden Girls themed. It is so much fun. All the questions are themed. All the game tokens are themed. It is so much fun. I made so many hours of this. And again, if you love Monopoly or you love the Golden Girls or both, I highly suggest this. I have one final trivia game to share with you before I go on to the last two, and that is 80s and 90s trivia. There are such funny questions in here, and we really don't play this per se with like a strategy. We will just each grab a few cards and read the trivia to each other which is so much fun and this one actually had a Disney question right off the bat as soon as I picked this up it says what character in Toy Story was voiced by Tom Hanks 
woody, of course. So it definitely has a lot of those same type questions if you're playing Trivia Pursuit, they do have categories. And there is directions in here if you wanna play it the right way, but we just like grabbing a stack full of trivia cards and asking each other questions. I do know that I was able to find the Dollar Tree version of this as well, but um, yeah, we love, love, love trivia, so we had to get the big box. The last board game I'm sharing with you is a game that we have been obsessed with for probably about a year. My best friend Amber told me about this game. She brought it over. We had like a little fun drink some coffee, play a board game day about a year ago and she brought this over and she was obsessed with it and she's got me hooked on it and now Damon and I both are just absolutely hooked on it. And that game is called Sequence. If you like card games like Rummy or things like that, you're absolutely gonna love this because it is in board game form. You can play as teams, you can play against each other, it is amazing. So you do get playing cards and you do get tokens. I'll give you a close up of what the board actually looks like. It's easy enough for kids to play, like it says, easy enough to, for kids to play and challenging for adults. So it says, play a card from your hand, place a chip on a corresponding space on the game board. When you have five in a row, it's called sequence. Learn to block your opponents, remove their chips, watch out for the jacks, they're wild. With a little strategy and a little luck, you're a winner. This is probably the most favorite game we do own. So if you think that you would like this, highly recommend it. I know Target Online sells it. I don't know if they are shipping to home right now, but I will definitely um, link this below as well because this one I highly recommend the most. The final game that I'm gonna share with you has been around for ages and that is Phase 10. I absolutely love this card game. Um, again, we have a ton of games over there. We have Yahtzee, we have um, Uno, we have Uno Attack. We have a lot of stuff to go through. Um, but these are the games that we just kind of go back to all the time. So I wanted to share this with you as well. Again, with the rummy theme, this is a rummy type game and you just have a challenge. If you've never seen this before, there's a challenge for you to go through and it says be the first player to complete all 10 phases. The phase to be completed is specific for each hand. Those that complete that phase advance to the next, but those that have not must try again. So you basically try to set the other person back just like you would a normal card game. It is so much fun. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Share in the comments below what your favorite game is for game night. Do you have some of these? Do you suggest any games for me? Like I said, these are the ones that we keep coming back to. They're our absolute favorites, but I'm always open to more suggestions. So please feel free to leave those in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for being here. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.